welcome to another episode on vantage at i want second opinion this is dr rash ganesh you want to know how to seek free medical second opinion in spine or in orthopedics kindly go to the youtube home page of i want second opinion hello viewers today we will delve into the critical subject of blood pressure management a universal concern affecting a considerable portion of global population high blood pressure often deemed the silent killer significantly contributes to heart attack and strokes our objective is to comprehensively explore the intricacies of blood pressure and provide evidence based on strategies to maintain optimal levels what is normal blood pressure let's initiate our exploration by comprehending the numerical metrics normal blood pressure ranges typically falls between 90 to 60 mm of mercury and 120 to 80 mm of mercury expressed in millimeters of mercury these values consist of systolic and diastolic pressures representing arterial force during heart beats and between beats establishing these baseline understanding is crucial for further discussion high blood pressure and the risks associated with that progressing forward let's dwell into the high blood pressure the stage where elevated blood pressure warrants medical attention often marked at 140 bar 90 mm mercury beyond numerical values high blood pressure poses multifaceted risks increased vulnerability to stroke cardiovascular diseases kidney dysfunction vision impairment and vascular dementia recognizing the gravity of these risks underscores the importance of proactive management what is the correlation between blood pressure and age aging universally correlates with incremental rise in blood pressure this phenomenon is observed globally with diet particularly salt intake identified as a pivotal factor intriguingly communities with restricted access to salt exist with consistent blood pressure levels accentuating the intricate link between dietary habits and the pervasive issue of elevated blood pressure is there any correlation between stress and blood pressure of course yes contrary to the common perception stress in itself might not induce a sustained increase in blood pressure the critical consideration is the ripple effect stress has on lifestyle choices which are essentially unhealthy dietary patterns smoking excessive alcohol consumption and inadequate sleep it's crucial to recognize the compounding impact of stress on habitual choices influencing cardiovascular health what about the medication for blood pressure transitioning to solutions medical science offers effective interventions four primary categories of medications are available they are ace inhibitors arbs diuretics and calcium channel blockers these are all to target high blood pressure through diverse mechanisms the crux lies in countering the body's resistance to medication emphasizing the significance of adherence to prescribed treatments now let's look back into cutting back on the salt a foundational step in blood pressure management involves reducing salt intake this is crucial even for those on medication such as high salt diet can compromise its efficacy within weeks of curtailing salt consumption observable positive impacts on blood pressure can be noted vigilance towards processed foods and opting for water packed alternative over brine becomes a globally applicable strategy what are all the foods that reduce blood pressure beyond salt reduction dietary considerations play a pivotal role food rich in potassium these are bananas leafy greens sweet potatoes nuts seeds tomatoes avocados apricots and mushroom facilitate sodium elimination thereby alleviating blood pressure on the vessels emerging research suggests that high fiber rich diet including bananas can surpass salt reduction in its efficacy at lowering blood pressure what's the correlation between exercise and blood pressure shifting focus to lifestyle modification regular exercise emerges as a potential tool against elevated blood pressure aim for 150 minutes of moderate exercise weekly notably isometric exercises like planks and squats exhibit pronounced effects on blood pressure reduction always exercise caution especially consulting healthcare providers when facing significant elevated blood pressure 
Are there any lifestyle choices that we can implement? Of course, yes. Weight management assumes pivotal significance even with moderate weight loss ranging from 5 to 10 percentage yielding substantial benefits in blood pressure regulation. Alcohol consumption merits careful consideration as recent data indicates a correlation between intake and increased blood pressure. Quitting smoking and vaping is a non-negotiable step towards reducing blood pressure and overall cardiovascular risk applicable on a global scale. Are there any supplements and are there any home monitoring that are available? Yes, venturing into supplementary measures, certain compounds may aid lowering blood pressure which includes potassium, magnesium, vitamin D and fish oil. A cautious approach is crucial necessitating consultation with healthcare providers due to the potential interaction with medications. Additionally, the impact of ubiquitous home blood pressure monitoring cannot be overstated. Consistent monitoring provides a comprehensive view, motivating positive lifestyle changes and offering insights into this effectiveness. In conclusion, navigating the landscape of health begins with a nuanced understanding and proactive management of blood pressure. Regular monitoring, lifestyle adjustments, and judicious use of medication constitute the triad of effective strategies. Recognizing that the first sign of elevated blood pressure might be a heart attack underscores the value of investing in a home blood pressure monitor, a pivotal decision for healthier and longer life. Many thanks for watching the program. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe, like, and the notification button. Stay safe, stay healthy, and once again, thank you for being a part of IWSO family.